Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We are going live for our Tuesday's tips and techniques. Let's make sure that we are up and running. We are going to be using the tailored, tailored tag punch again tonight, and I'm going to show you another use for this punch. I love it when I can show you different ways to use a punch than what it was intended to be used for. It just makes it that much more of a value when you can do lots of different things with it. Okay, it looks like I am live. So that is good. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Ruth. Thanks for joining me tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very quick and easy technique, but I like that it's something different that you can do with the tailored tag punch other than what it normally does, which is punch out tags, but I'm going to use it in a different way. So I will switch the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So here is what we're going to do tonight. And then I'll show you other things that I did with the tailored tags. Well, this was last week. Um, I don't think it was on Tuesday. It might have been on Thursday or Friday. I can't remember when it was. Um, but we used the tailored tag punch with the wood textured 6x6 six six, uh, printed sheets to create this faux tile, faux wood tile. Hello, hello everyone, thanks for joining me. So this was a fun technique, I love how this turned out. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but that wood textured six by six designer series paper, I love it. You can create some awesome guy cards with that wood textured paper. And you can just see all the detail, the knotting, the grain in the wood, it's just gorgeous. And then by staggering the tailored tag punch a little bit, it looks like grout in there. So that gives you that full wood tile effect. Love this card. Because of this card, I think I've sold three of the tailored tag punches already and about three or four packs of the six by six textured wood grain um, designer series paper. Love this. It's so cool. If you have a hard time coming up with guy cards, that's an awesome, awesome card. This was a couple weeks ago. I did a, um, it was shimmered embossed backgrounds with the frost white shimmer paint. And we used the tailored tag here. Like I said, I love this tag for masculine guy cards. You can see how I, I used it on this card here. And then I also did a one sheet, it's a one six by six, and I cut it up to create the two cards out of one six by six sheet. And I used the tailored tag on this, these two cards as well. So I love it to use on the masculine. You'll also see, I don't know if you can catch it, but I use the plank wood embossing folder on that wood paper just to give it more texture and looks really, um, looks a lot like wood. So just a couple more guy cards there featured that Taylor Tag Punch. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Taylor Tag Punch to create this bow tie here. So a little punch, create a bow tie. So I have the base of my card is white. And this is, I'm going to fold this this way because I don't know how I got ink on there, but I got ink on there while covered up. This is four and a quarter by 11. Fold that in half. Then I'm going to use the six by six gingham paper. This is gorgeous stuff. It's in the occasions catalog. I do believe it is on the retired list, but this is the balmy blue. You got the Highland Heather. I think this is grapefruit groove. And then the blue I'm using tonight, the green, I can't remember what color green that is. And then I use the Daffodil Delight with the yellow, but I love the gingham paper, the six by six. So we're gonna take the six by six sheet, move my little card out of the way here, and we are going to cut this four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. And I used the bigger check side because I thought that was more a little bit more masculine than the other, but you do see both sides in the card. 
Now this little strip here that's left over, I'm going to cut that down to a half an inch. I just want that little strip right there. This one, you can use it on something, but I'm going to pitch it. And then this you can use on another card if you like. Um, I did use it to create my little faux pocket on my card. Oops, I need my cutter again. Okay, so this is four by five and a quarter. We're going to bring this back in the cutter and line it up at two inches. And then we're going to use the cutter to cut down to one and a quarter inch. And I know that by that point right there on the side, I line that up at one and a quarter. And that's the only cut we have to do there. So then I'm going to bring my piece over and I'm going to make his little collar. So I'm going to try to line that up, make it as straight as possible. You can use your grid. I kind of use the print. And so there we have our faux like shirt. I'm going to bring in our card base and we're going to attach this. I posted this morning that I was going to be live tonight. If you haven't already guessed, I've been live every Tuesday night for about two months now, I think, at 8 o'clock um, for a Tuesday tip and technique. And I want to thank those who shared my post this morning that I was going to go live. I appreciate your sharing, and I hope tonight you'll share the video when I'm done. So now I'm going to use the balmy blue cardstock. It's the same as our check here in our tailored tag punch. I am going to punch two of these tags. One, two. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I start at right where the half mark where the points are and I just round it off. Just like that. Do that to both of them. So if you share my video tonight and leave a comment that you shared it, you have to leave a comment that you shared it so I know that you have shared it. Um, I'm going to be giving away the card I'm creating tonight. So somebody out there will be getting this in the mail. I will draw on Thursday. So look for that on Thursday. That the winner of the drawing. So I'm just using a little tape. You can use liquid glue. You can use glue dots. You're just kind of making those right like that. And then you're going to put tape or glue or whatever you want and stick them together like so. Then we're going to take our little strip that we cut. It doesn't matter the size. Actually, I'm going to do it a little bit further in just so I get a good amount. I didn't measure. I just folded it in, fold in this side, and then leave a little bit of glue here. And then trim that. And you have your bow tie. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Love it. So then what I did to stick it down, I just took a dimensional. And I just went right here in the middle. You can tape those down, but I like the lifted collar like that. And then I kind of matched my... Like this matches up a little bit. And then I just took my faceted dots, which I love. I've been using these a lot. These are on the um, retired list as well. We have these black ones right here. And then you can do, on mine, I did them close together. This time I think I'm going to space them out. Be more like buttons down a guy's shirt. And you can put as many as you like. 
Is that that's three there? Okay, if I put this one up one, maybe. Want the same spacing. That one's really stuck down. Okay, he's staying. I'll move this one. We'll go three and this one. If I can move it. Yep, there we go. Three. I like the little spacing like that. Then I took the happy birthday from the, this is my featured stamp set for this month. Today is the last day. Actually, I'm extending it till tomorrow with a minimum $50 order and use the hostess code on my blog. It's right here is the hostess code. Um, $50 order before shipping and tax. You're going to get a PDF file on different projects that I did with this all month long. I love this happy birthday script. That's what I used tonight. And I stamped it on that extra little side strip. And then I used the rectangle stitched framelits. I used this, this one right here. This is my favorite. I use this one a lot. But I thought that looked like a little faux pocket. So we're going to pop that up. Super cute. All the papers are sticking to my dimensional here. Sticky stuff. So I kind of just didn't go right to the edge, but just like that. Isn't that cute? So this one I spaced my buttons out a little bit more. This one I have them more together. I don't know. Which one do you like better? But I'm loving this Taylor Tag Punch. I call it my masculine punch, but I mean, I'm sure you can use it for many, many other things. But i just been using it on a lot of my masculine cards, which I love, love, love. Shared. Thank you, Lou Ellen. I appreciate that so much. Any other questions? Oh, the green is Granny Apple. Good to know. I did not know that. Glad that you were able to watch. Thank you so much. Jean, it's been a long time. It's been a while. So again, um, share and share my video and let me know that you shared it and you'll be in the drawing to receive the card. Which one? I like the spaced out buttons. I do, I do, I do. I might have to space those out. I can still do that yet if they'll come up on me without ripping. So that is your tailored tag tip and technique for today. I don't think I have any other questions. So I will be signing off. Thanks for stopping by.